If Tropical Storm Hannah has teeth, so far the residents of Georgetown, South Carolina are feeling only a nibble. Do you think it's all right for me to come back and park back in my driveway in this water? I wouldn't recommend it, ma'am. Georgetown lies in the heart of Hannah's anticipated path. Firefighters showed me how quickly floodwaters can rise here, and officials fear residents aren't taking the threat seriously. Our response is not what we would like to see because we feel there should be more people evacuating. Being prepared is the key, as Hannah has packed a deadly punch. 136 deaths in her wake in Haiti, where today relief supplies were flown in by the UN. The latest forecast shows Hannah has started to track slightly back out to open water. She's expected to race up the eastern seaboard. So from Florida to North Carolina to New York to Massachusetts, cities are working to fend off the floods. The bigger weather concern remains Hurricane Ike. Ike has now been downgraded to a Category 3 as it heads for Florida, but that's little relief. I got briefed yesterday about the potential for evacuations uh, in South Florida. Uh, that uh, might include as many as 1.3 million people. Florida residents are getting ready. We got a lot of, lot of water, we've got a lot of batteries, and we've got a lot of reading material. <laughs> Tropical Storm Hannah is expected to make landfall just north of us about midnight with winds of 70 miles per hour. 40 million people are in Hannah's path along the eastern seaboard, and tonight officials hope they're prepared. Priya David in, in Georgetown. Russ, back to you. Okay, Priya, thank you so much.